Say your name real quick. Where you from, big homie? Man, I'm Dick D. Chamey, six two, no time for the small talk. G five, flying high. You know what's going on. I'm from the last stop in New York, Coney Island. Mm. Shout out to Lance. You see the born ready. I keep, you know, trophies on the side, forever winning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that. We just, I, I'm just one of those guys. Like I think I always watched from the, from the back so long. I understand what's in front of me. Mm. You know what I mean? Shout out to the boy Lance Stevenson, definitely doing his thing out in China right shout now. To, shout out to all the ball players, you know, I can't mm. zero in on it, you know what I mean? Shout, if I was the name drop, you know the names already. Right, yeah, that's a fact. Coney but, Island definitely have a lot of legends in it. Right. We have you coming out of Coney Island oh, definitely now. That. Definitely coming definitely. out of Coney Island. I'm, I don't even really like, I'm at, I feel like I'm a growing mogul. Because I understand what Master P understand, I understand what Birdman understand, I understand what Jay Z did, I understand what the, Rick Ross. Birdman, I understand what those guys understand, and I just think once I get around the right set of people and build it up independently, mm. I'll be able to tell my side of the story. You know All so? right. So speaking of story, when did your story begin in this hip hop game? Let's 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 take it back for them real quick. Honestly, it was always around because uh, the school I went to from the beginning, what people know about, it, like they don't take pride in it. But I went to John Dewey, Dewey. And, and people don't know about John Dewey. Uh, John Dooley is a school for music, theater, arts. That's a high school. Spike Lee went there. A few other famous actors went there. So I was always, that's why acting is second nature. That's why when people doing web series, right. we talk about monologues and reading. I, I was doing that. You know, I wasn't the best student. You know, I fucked up. Went down south, went to Wando High School. I was in South Carolina. So I think the transition of wanting to do music started down there because I was so far from New York. All I'm hearing is like, Classic Wu Tang, classic Redman. They don't know new New York music. So we talking mm. early two thousands, mm. mid two thousands. So even late nineties, you know, we what DMX, Big Pun was right. was that package deal. Jay Z, like look, like all you could do is look at it like this is New York. This is what's going on. So while I was in the South, I was watching Southern music making its way to the city. I saw, right. I could say I physically saw it coming. And, but I always had the instrument instrumentals from Sycamore, shout out to Sycamore, and Cutmaster C mixtapes. Dope, tapes. dope, yeah. And then like I, I always used to watch Smack to the point where I knew when I was coming home from jail, like when I was seven, that I knew I was gonna get up with Smack because I didn't know Smack like that before I went in. It was a full arrest that jam. Right. And then when I was still back and forth fucking around in the city trying to make fast money, that's when I was starting to see like clues in passing and these guys in passing. And I was seeing certain dudes pay these mixtape DJs and shit like that to get their song played just to get placed on a mix CD. And I saw the value, but it already had too many pending cases or whatever. But I did know I wanted to tap into music so that, that whole time I was gone, I was just studying music, looking at the magazines, writing better, understanding my craft, or what I wanted to talk about. Cause a lot, at that time before, I couldn't tell, I wasn't rapping about shit. <laughs> I didn't have no message or no no nothing. I was just, I didn't have a goal. And that's like, I think uh, that's the problem with a lot of artists. They don't have nothing to talk about. So that's why they come and go. And they don't know how to do nothing outside of music. So I was studying the business and all that thing. But when you're a hustler and you're an artist, you're liable to make a minimum of two hundred dollars a day with doing something you love, but you have to manage your money. Hmm. And then he 